21 for authorities are keeping a watchful eye on the city nightclub. Police charges of illegal drug use at this all-ages establishment threaten to close it down. Now, the patrons of the city nightclub say they not only want it to stay open, they need it to. Here is a detail. Okay, this is me, and we're outside the club. Woo, woo, woo. This is Danny. My best friend, scared of him. The City Nightclub is the best thing in Portland. On an average weekend, the club will have a turnaround of between 1,500 and 2,000 young people. There is no alcohol served there. The City is an all-ages gay and lesbian nightclub, the only one of its kind in the entire country, owned by Lanny Swerdlow. Well, I knew if I was to open up a club, I would be, I would be able to help a lot of young gay people not have to go through the, the years of torment like I went through when I was a teenager. I came out of the closet when I was 17 years old, and as a result of that, I was kicked out of the house. When you're in high school, you get dyke, you get fag. I still have to treat myself the way that other people think that they should see me because I don't want, you know, to get beat up or get harassed. It's just weird how people will look down upon you for something that you can't really control. I mean, it's not like I chose to be gay. When you go somewhere and you can come out in front of everyone and just be who you want to be, it's totally wonderful. And without that, I don't know what people would do. It's a place that I can let go, where I can express myself. It is a matter of straight gay by whatever. You're very much inside of a family atmosphere. It's a very accepting place for a lot of kids. It's home. <laughs> What's happening to the City Nightclub right now is that the Portland Police Bureau is attempting to close the club. Now, their claims on closing the club are that there is rampant drug use. The City Nightclub is just a microcosm of society. If there's problems out there, we're going to have the same kind of problems in, the, in here. Okay, in a six-month period, the police investigated the club undercover. We do a very thorough search before people are allowed entry into the club. I have a community police agreement saying that they will do certain things to work with the club to prevent any kind of problem. So we have made a lot of arrests for a lot of criminal conduct, a lot of that involving drugs and things of that nature. So um, the, this, this wasn't working out. Well, the police have violated this agreement by not sending me the required notice and went right to the court. The police action against the city nightclub is wrong. One of the defenses that's been raised is that the city is discriminating on the basis of the sexual orientation of the owner and the customers of the city nightclub. We had a march from the city nightclub to city hall. About 450 people turned out in support of the club. This is just another measure that we're trying to take to basically give us no lives. On the first court date, the motion for summary judgment on the part of the city of Portland didn't go through. One zero. A week later, another motion for summary judgment, the club lost. The judgment meant that the owner of the property could evict the club today. The club is still open, so we have to wait and see what happens. I know that I'm not the only young person that was kicked out at a young age for being gay. If the City Night Club closes, this is where you're going to have four to 600 gay and lesbian young people every weekend. Unless they can have a solution to deal with those kids when the club is closed and they're on the streets, then they shouldn't try to close it down. And the City Nightclub is the only damn place where a gay person can go in this town and feel comfortable, and there really is no place else. The closing of the City Nightclub is still pending trial. We'll keep you posted.